Well, why thank you. <laughs> Perfect. There's the background I wanted. Hi, I'm in Hamburg and I'm about to show you around the factory of Steinway pianos. Hello from New York. You can probably tell by the traffic background noise, but I wanted to sit out here for some fresh air despite the fact that I almost dropped my camera on the balcony five minutes ago. Anyway, <laughs> I was in Hamburg. I'm laughing because it's just the whole thing is ridiculous. <laughs> so I was in Hamburg about two weeks ago and that's because after my last two concerts of the year in Germany, I wanted to make a stop over to Hamburg to see the factory because I've known about it for so long and I've been in Germany so many times that I, for some reason, have not stopped by to see it. So I asked Daimei and they said yes. So I got a little private tour and you'll see what I learned at the factory there. The Hamburg factory is actually the second one after the original New York one. Steinway was founded in 1853 and the Hamburg factory was established in 1880 and it's been in the current location since 1923. So this is a little bit of a glimpse into the factory and here's some things I learned there. It's not a comprehensive tour and I'm sorry, but these are just a few things that I thought be interesting. I'm gonna do some voiceover right now because at the time I really just wanted to have fun and focus on being present without having to talk to my camera at the same time. So now back to Hamburg. The first thing you see is the rim bending. It's very nice of them to wait for me to start the process so they can show you guys how it's made. They start with gluing and stacking layers of wood and it can take up to 19 layers of wood to make a concert grand model D and here they're making a B. They make about six rims a day and after the gluing and the stacking they put it in this mold and to secure it it really takes a lot of energy and muscles. There are 500 employees at the Hamburg factory and about 450 are in production. Something that was very fascinating for me to learn right away was that 80% of the piano is handmade and only 20% is machine aided and that was fascinating to me because it's so easy to forget how much time and effort and human effort it takes to make one piano. Okay. Now on to the next room. This room is so much more quieter than the previous one because all the workers here need the full concentration to cut the veneers. Veneers are the outside parts of the piano. So in some special editions of pianos, there are these really beautiful designs of wood and this is where they cut the veneer for that outside coating. Every piece of wood is different and they have to make it so that everything blends really well and really beautifully like in this piano leg. I can't even cut a straight line, so I can't imagine how long it takes for them to cut the shapes. Fun fact, in sixth grade, my research project was on him. And now here I am. Then next, I stop by the signature painting of the copula plates and that's the Steinway & Sons New York and Hamburg logo and also the model. Of course, I wanted to try myself and see how it feels. It really must take a lot of dedication to paint that over and over again. And I think it adds a nice personal touch, the fact that it's hand-painted. Now here, I really have to apologize that I still do not speak German. So unfortunately, I could not communicate with the workers as much as I wanted to. But thank you, Armin, for kind of translating and helping me 
talk to the technicians. Each string in the right position, they have the same level. Yeah, of course. And uh, the tiefe, the depth. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Uh, dynamic, and uh, it's the same here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Uh, and it's 52 steps, you know, work steps. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's two or three days. Okay. Uh, we, we, uh, the longest uh, work step uh, in, a, in a production yeah. for one of uh, grand talent. Okay. Okay. Here he is trying to show us how there's a difference between the before and the after of the regulation. Here on the left you'll see that the hammers don't go up. They don't bounce up properly. It's very hard, the action. And then on the other side is after the regulation, you can see the after results of process of checking every single hammer so that each one can bounce properly and be responsive to repetitions. That's very important, obviously. So after a look inside the factory, I had the privilege of meeting President Mr. Guido Zimmerman, president of the Hamburg Steinway and it was a very nice lunch we had together. Something that I really appreciated actually was that everyone eats in the same cafeteria, whether you're the top executive or whether you're working inside a factory in one of those stations. I think that really adds a nice familial environment to it. So I had a really nice talk and I might be coming back to Hamburg, to the factory, to do more videos, possibly. So. Please let me know what you would like to see, if you would like some sort of interview maybe. I'm thinking that's probably the direction I would want to go. So let me know in the comments. By now you're probably wondering, what is the difference between Hamburg and New York Steinways? I think that it's not really interesting to say what's different between the two nationalities, I guess, of pianos. To me, I think it's a lot more interesting to consider each piano individually. Half of you, if not a lot of you, thought that the piano in my apartment, which came from the New York factory, was a Hamburg, when it's actually not. So yeah, I just don't think that's a very interesting question, I'm sorry. I do think that the New York pianos are very bright, and I like that because you can get that transparency. There's definitely a merging of New York and Hamburg characteristics, so that's probably why you thought that my New York one, if I can call it mine, it's not done long, but for convenience sake, that's probably why you thought my Steinway in New York is a Hamburg when it's actually not. And speaking of the merging of <laughs> the two, I got to visit the Spiral Lounge right across from the Alp for Hermani after lunch with Mr. Zimmerman. And guess what? I encountered a New York Spiral Steinway. <laughs> And then afterwards, thank you to Mr. Zimmerman for arranging a private tour of the Elf Ceremony. It was so surprising to me that they would do this for me. And thank you, Armin, for taking me around and having a little of a private tour of Hamburg. The architecture inside is really amazing. And I can't imagine what the acoustics would be like with that type of material and design of the walls. I do hope that I will have the privilege of performing there someday but I have to say that this was very unique of an experience because if I go back to that hall New York says hello <laughs> if I go back to that hall next time if there will be a next time I probably will be performing there and I won't be in this relaxed state of mind where I'm just there to appreciate the architecture and just the hall itself so that was very nice of them. All right, I think that's it for this little peek inside the Hamburg factory. I'm sorry, it's not very technical of a vlog, but let me know, please, what you would like to see. 
if I have some good ideas from you guys, then I can go back and film some more in Hamburg or even in New York here at the factory. I will do a New York factory vlog, but since I was just next door in Germany, I wanted to stop by Hamburg. And what else do I have to say? I had to come back in because the traffic noise was getting louder and louder and more and more ridiculous for the audio. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you so much for your excitement and support for my collaboration with Steinway. This is very exciting for me because not only do I get a really beautiful instrument in my apartment, I also get to know so much more behind the scenes of these really, really beautiful instruments. And if you're new here and newly subscribed to my channel, welcome and thank you. I am a concert pianist first and I feel like I have to repeat myself a lot lately because you do see a lot of YouTube videos but that is because I think as a classical pianist with classical music in this day and age it's really important to bring the human back and to show behind the scenes process because you know classical music is quite old so hopefully you've been enjoying my vlogs and let me know again what you want to see with my collaboration with Steinway. And that's it. Thank you Steinway and thank you to you guys. Keep striving. Bye.